In today's show, crypto exchange owner Bobby Lee says $500,000 Bitcoin price flippening of gold will come by 2028. In his latest tweet, he wrote hashtag gold is about $8 trillion today, which is 50x the worth of Bitcoin. I predict the flippening will happen within nine years and Bitcoin will shoot up past $500,000 USD. And with all of the money printing that's happening globally, Bitcoin will actually very likely be over $1 million. We'll be discussing this in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the cryptocurrency market. As you can see, we're back in the green, which is a good sign. We'll be doing a Bitcoin price action and so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And to celebrate the launch of our podcast, our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world, is giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click that link right below the video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. Let's dive right into today's top story. Bitcoin will surpass the market cap of gold and ultimately be worth $1 million. Well-known industry, Bobby Lee has said in a series of tweets on November 10th, Lee, who co-founded Chinese crypto exchange BTCC and now runs a Bitcoin wallet startup, became the latest voice in expanding the debate on Bitcoin versus gold. Lee said Bitcoin market cap to hit $8 trillion. Take that, Peter Schiff. Let's actually take a look at Bobby Lee's tweet. I read this in the intro. He expanded upon it, adding that Bitcoin was designed to be super valuable over time. The first 10 years, there were only two block reward halvings. But the next 10 years, there'll be three. That's 50% more. By the 20th year, daily new output will be 255 Bitcoin, yearly inflation of less than 0.5% more scarce than gold. Gold's market cap is $8 trillion, while Bitcoin's is just $160 billion. While around 50 times lower at present, Lee thinks a reversal could come as soon as 2028. In his tweet, he said, I predict the flippening will happen within nine years and Bitcoin will shoot up past $500,000 USD. Like many, Lee based his argument for Bitcoin's success on its decreasing supply via block reward halvings. He noted that in the next decade, the amount of Bitcoin released to miners each block will have three times. Lee added, by the 20th year, daily new output will be 255 Bitcoin, yearly inflation of less than 0.5%, more scarce than gold. His arguments chime with predictions by a well-established model charting the Bitcoin price stock to flow. I shared this on yesterday's episode from the infamous Plan B. The product of social media analyst Plan B, the instrument likewise uses Bitcoin's new supply versus its existing stock to forecast its future value. Cointelegraph reported calculations call for a Bitcoin price of just 8,300 until the next halving in May 2020. After that, however, the situation should change rapidly with the $100,000 coming around two years later. Lee also joined Plan B in predicting far higher Bitcoin prices in the latter part of the next decade or beyond. While the former thinks a $1 million price tag is possible in the event of global money printing continuing, Plan B noted that money printing could ultimately stop the stock to flow model from working. Plan B tweeted, I'd be happy if the model holds for one or two or maybe three more halvings, especially since Bitcoin is measured in dollars. Who knows what happens with dollars if the Fed keeps doing more money printing, he said in a Twitter exchange late last month. The idea of Bitcoin surpassing gold as an alternative store value still has its major detractors. Amongst the most vocal is Peter Schiff. We covered this in yesterday's show. The gold bug who has become infamous for his social media sliding for both Bitcoin and his proponents. I know he just tweeted saying that Bitcoin will never reach $100,000. What are your thoughts regarding that? Last week, Schiff argued that China potentially backing its state-issued digital currency with gold was a bearish sign for Bitcoin. 
I don't know what bug crawled up this dude's ass, but obviously he's trying to sell gold to the crypto community because he's in the business of selling precious metals. But prior to that, he forecasted Bitcoin never reaching 50,000 while gold would pass $5,000. He made that prediction a few years ago. Did gold surpass $5,000? It sure as hell didn't, right? Equally vocal about Bitcoin, meanwhile, is my boy, Bitcoin maximalist Max Kaiser, the RT host who continues to argue for the crypto supremacy on mainstream media. In an episode of the Kaiser Report last week, he said that Bitcoin's self-settling ability automatically made it more suitable for transactions than either gold or fiat currency. And that's a fact. There is no settlement time with Bitcoin because it's built in, therefore making it superior in so many different ways. The total cryptocurrency market cap is currently 242 billion with 64 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. So the market has slowed down a bit. The current Bitcoin dominance is 66 0.1%. So Bitcoin has taken a step back. And when this happens, that's when the altcoins start to rally, which we're experiencing right now. And taking a look at the top cryptocurrencies, we can see the market is back in the green. Hallelujah. Bitcoin trading at $8,842, up 0.14% in the past 24 hours. Bitcoin Cash up 1.8%, trading at $286. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision up 3% trading at $133. Ethereum up 1.56% trading at $187. XRP trading just below 28 cents up 0.59% in the past 24 hours. Link is up 1.7% trading at $2.80. BNB is up 2% trading at $20.26. EOS is up 2.23% trading at $3.54. Tron is up trading just below two cents up two percent and miss litecoin is up 3.54 percent trading at 63 dollars and 12 cents and taking a look at stellar lumens xlm is up in the deep forest green up 8.08 percent trading at just under eight cents and taking a look at the top cryptocurrencies in the past 24 hours, DX chain token leading the pack up a whopping 31.12%, currently being traded at 0.0017. We have ODEM up 12%, trading at 0.18, which is just below 19 cents. Komodo up 5.9%, currently trading at 82 cents. Stellar Lumens up 5.6%, currently trading at 7.7 .7 cents. ABBC coin up 5 0.4% trading at 24 cents and Cosmos up 4.3% trading at $4 and five cents. And now for the biggest losers in the past 24 hours, Chili's currently down 5.53% trading at just above a penny. Synthetics is down 4.8% trading at just below 80 cents. KuCoin shares is down 3.6% trading at $1.19. Quant is down 3.58% trading at $6.06. Bitcoin is down 3.36% trading at 0 0.0003 and centrality down 2.3% trading just above 13 cents. And checking out the current BitMEX margins, we can see the bulls are back in control with longs leading the way with about 15 to 16 million in superiority. 50.67% longs to be exact versus 49.33% shorts. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin right now? Let me know in the comments right down below. All right, and now for the Bitcoin price action. This forecast, according to News BTC, is saying more downsides are likely ahead. After consolidating above 9K, Bitcoin declined heavily against the US dollar. The price is currently trading in a bearish zone with the close between $89.20 and $9,000. And the current Bitcoin price is actually just below that at $8,842. The price is currently showing bearish signs. It could decline further towards $8,300 to $8,560. 
In the past few days, Bitcoin consolidated in a range above the $9,000 support against the US dollar. However, the bulls failed to protect the losses, resulting in a downside break below the key $9,000 support area. Additionally, there was a break below the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the upward move from the 7,317 low to $10,578 high. More importantly, there was a break below a major contracting triangle with support near $9,180 on the four hour chart of the Bitcoin USD pair. It opened the doors for more losses below the 89.20 support and the 100 simple moving average on the four hour. The decline was strong and Bitcoin even settled below $8,800 level. At the moment, Bitcoin's trading at just above $8,800. And if there's more downsides, the price could slide towards the $8,300 support levels. The mentioned $8,300 area acted as a resistance earlier and is now likely to provide support. Any further losses may push the price towards $8,000 support. It represents the 76.4% Fibonacci retracement level of the upward move from the 7,300 low to $10,500 high. On the upside, the recent support area near $9,000 level could act as a resistance. Besides, the 100 simple moving average on the four hour is a major hurdle near the $9,100 level. Therefore, a successful close above $9,100 is needed for more gains in the near term, as you can see in this graph, which I included in the show notes below this video in the description. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me through this crypto matrix. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before I go, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world to help celebrate the launch of our podcast. They're giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click that link right below the video in the description. It's going to take you to this page. Simply enter your best email and click the orange button that says, yes, I want $25 in free CMDX and we'll make sure you get taken care of. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.